In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to block or blacklist certain words in your YouTube comments. And this comes in really handy if you have trolls or haters or people leaving profanities in your comments or sub for subbers, how many times you have, hey, sub me bro, sub for sub in your comments and you're like, will you stop? Well, you can block all of that stuff. And I'm gonna show you how to do it in this video. But before I get into that, I wanna say if you are new to the channel, drop a hashtag new down in the comments below so I can give you a proper welcome. My name is Dee, I help mobile content creators and mobile YouTubers. So if that is what you are, or if that is something that you wanna get into, go ahead and hit that subscribe button followed by the notification bell so you don't miss out on future videos. So grab your phone and let me show you how to add words like Pootie Pie and T-Series to your YouTube comment filter. <laughs> Ooh, that's not gonna go over too well, yeah. Who's gonna win now, seriously? The first thing you wanna do is you wanna choose a browser that allows you to change over to desktop mode, which is just about any browser. For this video, I'm going to use Chrome. So I'm gonna open up Chrome and I'm gonna type in youtube.com. Then I'm gonna go to the top three little dots on the right hand side, tap on that. I'm gonna come down and choose desktop site. And by the way, if you're actually watching from a desktop, you are already in desktop mode, so just continue following along. The steps I'm gonna show you are the exact steps that you'll do as well. Once YouTube loads up, you wanna zoom and pinch and come into your profile picture up on the top right, tap on that, and then come down and tap on Creator Studio. Once the Creator Studio opens up, you wanna pinch and zoom again and come over to the far left-hand side where you see the menu on the left. You wanna tap on Community. When the Community tab opens, you're gonna see Subscriber, Super Chat, and Community Settings. You wanna tap on Community Settings. And by the way, this is also where you can add or remove moderators as well as unban people that you've banned from your channel. But for this video, what we wanna do is scroll down until we see blocked words. We're gonna zoom in on blocked words. And blocked words says, comments closely matching these words will be held for review. Live chats matching these words will be blocked. So that's what we're gonna focus on for this video. We're gonna go over to the right and it's giving us example of blocked words. Their examples are orange, Granny Smith and grapefruits. I guess Google has a thing against uh, Granny Smith orange and grapefruits. But for this video, we're gonna type in the obvious, which is PewDiePie and T-Series. And you can fill that out as long as you want. You can add profanities like shiitake or flip or whatever other words that you wanna use. You can also add your real name in the event that you are posting under a stage name or an alias. If you have problems with people saying certain things about your video, or maybe you have a crooked nose and you don't like that, you can add this in here too. And when you add the words, make sure you separate them by a comma. Once you have all of your words, phrases, or things that you want removed from your comments, go down to default settings because you can also choose how YouTube deals with your comments in general. For example, you can allow all comments. You can hold potentially inappropriate comments for review. You can hold all comments for review, or you can disable comments completely. Underneath that, you'll find comments for your channel. Some people like to leave comments on channels, and you can do the same thing here. You can hold them, you can allow all of them, whatever it is you wanna do. Underneath that, you have messages in your live chat. And the option here is to hold potentially inappropriate chat messages for review. Once you have your words in place and your settings how you want it, pinch and zoom, come up to the right and tap on saved, and you're ready to go. Now on a personal note, what I do for my channel is I keep it brand friendly and family safe. I'm trying to future proof my channel because we don't know if YouTube is gonna start penalizing us for what's being left in the comments section. There's a lot of controversy happening right now today as I'm making this video about the possibility of getting demonetized based on what people say in your comments. So future proof your channel, but of course do whatever it is you feel you need to do for your channel and your content. Grab your phone and let me <laughs> Oh, I can't even do it. If you wanna learn how to make content on your phone or be a mobile YouTuber, go ahead and hit that subscribe button followed by the notification bell so you don't miss out on future videos. Thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it and I'll see you in the next video.